the 28 day fiber weight loss method. In this video, I'm gonna give you a four week breakdown of how you can include fiber into your daily diet so that you start to lose weight. Now, people always mention to me, is dieting sustainable? And I say, yes, it is. But are we always going to be eating low calories? No. Will we regain some of the weight that we've lost in a challenge? Yes. And that's why I like the 28 day belly burn because depending on where you are in your journey, you might want to lose anywhere from 30 to 40 pounds. So let's say in 28 days, we help you cut 15 pounds. Okay. But in the first week after the challenge, you enjoy yourself, you, you know, drink a lot of fluids and you gain back five. The good news is, is that you're still down 10 and we got a couple more weeks until the next belly burn. But at the start of the challenge, let's say it was Christmas and you went off and you gained 10, which means that, Hey, don't worry about it. We're still down five and we're going to start the next challenge right now. So the curb of your weight loss might go up and down over the course of two to three years, but we're always going to be consistently going down if you look at it over a longer term. So if you're looking for a plan to help you cut 10 to 15 pounds, and if you're really dedicated to it and you can stay focused between challenges, then this is how you're going to get the most amount of results. And if you're looking for those types of results, go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, start you with the five days. If you're a current member, just inquire about the next belly burn challenge and we'll get you on that waiting list. Okay, so here's how we do a 28 day fiber weight loss method starting in week one. Now, usually in week one, I would wanna start you at a higher caloric intake because if you've been gaining weight and even if it's only like two pounds a month over the course of three months, so you're up six pounds in three months, that means that you've been in a caloric surplus. So let's say that you burn 2000 calories in a day and you're gaining two pounds a month, that means that you're roughly in a five to a thousand caloric surplus every single day than you're burning. And so what we need to do is find that minimal number that's not going to get you to completely shut down and think that you can't do this because the first week is a mental warfare, okay? We're going from unrestricted calories to now we're going into a restricted calorie range. But I want you to feel satisfied and I want you to feel like you're eating a ton of food and I want you to come to me so that you're like, RJ, I can't eat all this food. And I say, okay, no problem. Then let's cut tomorrow, okay? And stop eating for the rest of the day. And in this higher caloric range, that calorie should be able to fill you up enough where you're not gonna need to make any changes to your fiber intake. So once you get into a challenge, you, you tend to start drinking more water. And so when you drink more water and you're eating higher calories, then that's gonna be enough to fill that stomach tank. Now it's when we get into week two and we start to cut your calories is when we want to start to increase the amount of fiber. So make sure that you're tracking your food in my fitness pal so that you can actually see the grams of fiber that you're intaking. So let's say in week one, you're eating between 10 and 15 grams of fiber and you're doing, let's say 2000 calories in week two, we want to do a caloric cut. So we might move you down to about, let's say 1700 calories. But now instead of doing 10 to 15, we do 15 to 20 grams of fiber. So we've cut the calories, which means that there's less volume of food in your stomach, but we've increased the fiber, which has very minimal calories in it and is providing more bulk. And you're going to continue to drink the water. So that more bulk, more volume, which means that the stomach tank is going to get a little bit more full. Now in week three is where it gets a little bit more trickier. And this is generally where I like to control your nutrition. But if you're going to do this on your own, then I would recommend doing the U method. Okay, so the U method means that we're gonna front load your calories. So you're gonna go high calories on a Monday, Tuesday, and then we're gonna dip low into a Wednesday, Thursday, maybe even to a Friday if you can. And then we ramp it back up towards the end of the week. And we're going to adjust the grams of fiber based on where you are in this U method. So at the beginning of the week, when we're higher calories, we probably don't need as much fiber to fill the stomach tank. In the middle, we're gonna need more fillers, healthy fillers, that are going to increase the volume of food in the stomach based on you having low calories and fiber is going to match what you're missing. And then as we get towards the end, we're going to dip out the fiber because all that food is just going to make you absolutely full. But all the while, I'm going to keep you into a caloric deficit. Now, when it comes to week four is I actually like 
to increase the amount of calories that you're consuming on the front end. And then it's just a gradual pyramid down to like whatever low calories that we can handle. So on the front end, we want your body and your brain to think, okay, I'm on the top of the U. And even if we cut your calories, let's say on Wednesday, that the calorie jump is gonna go, let's say from 1500 down to 1200. It's not that big of a jump where your body goes into shock. So it's going to continue to keep your body into that weight loss mode. And it's at this point, your stomach should be shrunk enough that if we dip down into 1200 calories, you wouldn't need the fiber to fill in the extras. So we decrease the cal the, so we would decrease the fiber in the middle. We'd actually almost want to get rid of it, have normal fiber on the front end. And then towards the end of the week, we want to get rid of that fiber because remember what happens with fiber is that it's going to make you retain a little bit more water. Now, is this a temporary weight loss method? Yes, it is. It's based on a 28 day challenge. So at the end of the challenge, you could be already down seven to eight pounds leading up to this last week. And into this challenge, we could lose another three to five. And so if we cut your calories, we cut your fiber and we go into a weigh in and you walk out of there like 15, 16 pounds lighter, then that gives us that flexibility that I was talking about on the front end where you lose 15 pounds. Even if you gain back five, we're still down 10 and the next belly burn challenge starts in a couple weeks. Now, can you sustain this long-term by doing this to your own method? 100%. The belly burn is about accountability. It's how about having a coach, finding unique ways that's going to help you get through plateaus. So we're always here for that. But the methods are here on the internet for you to utilize. So if you're to rinse and repeat this cycle, meaning week one, you're high calories, week four, you're low calories, and then you rebound the fact, right? So it's that you, and like I talked about in a previous video, that it's all about the curve. So as long as the curve, we're going up and down through this, but it's always constantly going down. In the course of two to three years, you're gonna see a completely different you. So my recommendations for you is to take a photo now and continuously take photos every month. And this way you could track your visual progress because sometimes it's not always about the scale. Sometimes you're just gonna be able to see, wow, my body is completely transformed. Your days are gonna look a lot different. So if you've got young children, you're able to wrestle with them, be active with them, do their dance, whatever it is required of you, you're probably sleeping less and being less tired throughout the day because your body is craving more energy output. And so these transformations happen, but they happen over time and they require consistency. So when it comes to this fiber weight loss method, you can utilize this and you can use this for a long term and you can continuously run this so that you can continuously see your nutrition match your energy output to match your workouts. Now, if you're looking to get this all digested into a personalized bundle, then the next belly burn challenge is starting soon. But if you're a non-member, you can't just jump into the belly burn because we need to establish your workout routine on the front end. So all you got to do is go to our website, www.fitclub.fit. Mention the five days if you're a non-member, but you can also mention the belly burn. And this is one of the tactics that I've coached to all the belly burn coaches so they could apply to you. You just need to ask for it. Or if you get on my team, then this might be something that we apply to you. But again, the belly burn is very personalized to the individual needs. So www.fitclub.fit, send us a message. And we'll get you started today.